Open borders, deadly consequences. Border crisis, record high crossings are putting a strain on cities across America. It is a full-blown invasion. Armed Venezuelan gang members storming an apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. When people talk about lack of crime, this is what they're talking about. Biden and Harris had created a program to bring them in under humanitarian parole. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been released into the United States. My 20 year old daughter, Kayla Hamilton, was murdered in her own room. Kayla's murderer was apprehended by Border Patrol crossing illegally into the U.S. Kayla's murderer had been improperly released into the United States. Abolish ICE. Yeah, we need to probably think about starting from scratch. An Afghan national is in custody today after being accused of plotting an election day terrorist attack. The suspect entered the U.S. on a special immigrant visa. More than a dozen people suspected of being Tren de Aragua gang members right here in San Antonio. The gang members had been terrorizing the apartment complex. New details in the murder of Lake and Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect who cops say committed the heinous murder is a Venezuelan national. And was paroled and released into the country by the Biden administration. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nungaray. Court documents suggest a group of men arrested for beating and robbing a Dallas woman last month are members of a Venezuelan street gang. Manuel Hernandez Hernandez was booked by Colleyville police just two days earlier and released the day before the robbery.